I'm Josh, and welcome back to Skyrim. I said I was gonna go to Riften, to the Thieves' Guild, to hand in some quests. Kinda forgot that I also kinda need to go to Markarth first. Also, I wanna check on my vampire perks. I got one perk left. I've already got LeMay's Pyre, which is a 50-foot hurricane of flames. And wraps gas for 10 seconds, and when he takes 75 fire damage per second, can be used once then becomes unavailable until you feed on a sleeping victim. Now, I want a different spell. Oh, I already have Amaranth. Vampire Seduction works on vampires, able to drain humanoid vampires, absorb their power. Doesn't actually do any permanence boosts. What do I get? Tremble, Shockwave. You are stronger and blood starved? No. Concentrate to absorb health from living foes. Uninterrupted spills of agony. Imploding vortex. Meh. I've already got most of what I want. Shockwave. Yeah. Cool. Let's go back. As in revert form. I can vampire seduction vampires now, which I will utilize. Look at how badass I look. How horrifying. Oh yes. All right, we're going to milestone number three. Because... Oh yeah, that's eating up. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're going to milestone number three because we need to go to Markarth. Yes. I also need to remember to uh, feed that dagger we got a bunch of lives and also li a black soul gem. I got a bunch of black soul gems that I need to find. So yeah, a very martial thing to keep in mind. Someone nearby is carrying valuables. Okay. Fight! The Thulum. He summons the Thulum. Where's the valuables? Not you. What is it? Where are the valuables? Ah! Tacticus. Tacitus, sorry. Let's try that again. Okay, someone was carrying valuables, and I didn't... Someone nearby is carrying valuables. Yes, okay, crime spree. Oh, it's a guard! How do you do, thing? Hi. Um... By the order of the yard. That no, I don't think I will. Loot, 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 loot. I'm gonna use that money to buy some perk points. Doesn't it lock? That's good. Don't really need anything else from this guy. Cool. Anyone else nearby carrying valuables? Yes, there is. Boomst. Not Gorza, not any of, any of these idiots. Probably someone upstairs? Hurry up. Ah! Hogney. Ah! That's something I'm not expecting. Keonites. Oh, interesting. He didn't even find me. Anyone else? I like this low mini game. Someone nearby is carrying those. Okay, that guard. Hi. Briar Heart. Hey, 
Yeah, that's all he's really got, doesn't he? Don't it? even think about it. Okay, what else? Where else? What else? Who knows? Hi. Yes, Thane. What is it? <laughs> that's it, really? Okay, good. Good amount of loot. Let's go talk to Calsomo, who's the only person I really need to talk to today. And Markarth. Eventually, I'm going to have to steal at least three more things with the uh, Minor Thieves Guild missions in Markarth to get a total of five, which means I'll get a special quest. Once I complete that special quest, I will be um, able... My brother tells me you've done some service. You're welcome. I'll be able to upgrade the Thieves Guild, so... I just wanted to know if you needed anything. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Are you sure? Stop bothering me, I can't hurt. I have no idea what this even does. Anyway. Uh, Calselmo. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. So many things to talk about. I found the staff in Ulfdent. Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. Hmm. It's clearly magical in nature, but like nothing I've ever seen before. Okay. There you go. This is for you. What? Thank you. I have things to study. What is it? I found this staff in Urkingthand. Well, now, would you look at that? Yeah. I never imagined we'd find something like this. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I need to complete my research. Nice. Yes, yes, I have a lot of... The artifacts I've discovered in the Shuanzel will make history one day. Now, I've also found this staff in the Temple of Drip, insofar as it is a temple. Excellent work. I've never seen anything like this. Hmm. Thank you. Here, this is for you. So, this should wrap things up, hmm? You've made an important contribution to the advancement of my research. You already said that. Here, take a look at this. Consider this artifact discovered in the Shuanzel. Yours. I've no use for it. Snowfall. Woohoohoo! Slows the target, deals frost damage. Damage is boosted during snowstorms. So, uh, the snow elves seem to be in tune with weather. Also, yeah, I want those back. Oh, zero percent chance to steal, huh? All right, fine. Uh, yeah, sure, I can make duplicates of them if I need to. Hey, I've only ever lost a few guards to steam centurions. Good odds, considering. Yeah, I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Uh, yeah, isn't that the Jarl's house call? Then you know what her beauty she is. Uh... The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Well, you should have something to talk about. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the Keep. But I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. I guess. Is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one. Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Hmm. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type. But they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Ah, sure. <laughs> uh, that's cute. Hey. What is on your mind? Any thoughts? It is quite a sight, this place. But would I live here? No. Any other thoughts? In such a cold environment, it pays to keep the ceilings low to conserve heat. Maybe you should tell someone. Yeah. What's next? We are leaving. We're gonna go talk to Ingvar the Singer. What are you enough for you, outsider? That guy. Where are we at? Hey, blood and silver friend. 
blood and silver. I've heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Eh, <laughs> no. Calselmo is. Calselmo? Is he interested yeah. in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Heh. <laughs> Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... Hmm. I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. Aww. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. Hmm. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? I'm pretty sure they're silver words, but here you go. Here's some cash. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Love poem. I love his words. Oh, damn, that is really good. Well, not 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 like, it's decent. Uh, it's better than just some crap rhyme, at least. But the whole desolate beauty crap that that considering we're in Skyrim and we're in the Reach, yeah, this is gonna go go actually pretty well. It's not that simple, Igman. There are reports of Forsworn here in the city. Ma'am, can I help you? Uh, I have a poem I'd like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Kelsomo. I'm not sure what this is all about. Check it out. This is lovely. Kelsomo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He does care about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Alright. Now that's privacy. I've already got that fishbowl, though. It was disappeared last time. Oop. So I spawned it in. Because Mark Earth is the city of spawning things in. Uh, I'm not doing that anymore. Things to study. What is it? Well, I have a letter back from Faline. This is... More than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please, excuse me. Sure. Sure, sure. What? Oh, goodbye. Yeah. The old elf. I'm kind of done with the corpse on the steps, so I'm just going to move that thing. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so nuanced. Hmm. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. Aww. Back to the ninja blue. That's for you, Miss Talmore. That should fix things. Yeah, we're going back to Rift. What's the fast way to go back to Rift? Compass. And travel. To save us. I've got that new bow that I can put on display. It's probably going to be in the East Exhibit Hall. You can hear the dog. East Exhibit Hall. I could be wrong. I 
Hey, that's a guest in a museum. Uh, no, that's the Vader Hall, Hall of Lost Empires. Winter Storm. Bow of uh, Snowfall, I'm sorry. Snowfall, there we are. Nice. Praise Ariel. Spear of the Snow Prince. Huh. Might want to utilize that. This plane's just locked as of yet. Okay, my favor is maxed out. Let's go back to our safe house. I'm gonna sort out the ingots and ores I got from my thieving spree later. Later. Hello, Dogo. For now, we're going back to Riften. At some point, I'll have enough enemies to make use of the dagger. I wonder. Kovalok. Ah, does 2,000 damage, not 200. I was worried for a moment. <laughs> now I'm not anymore. Um, I may be worried that it might be a bit too easy, but whatever. Riften teleport orb. Teleports to Riften. Okay, turns out the Riften teleport orb almost always crashes you, and I think the solution is to go out to the Skyrim first and then back, because if... It's a fine day with you around. If I take a three-step, like, jump, and never once go actually inside, uh, actually out, go outside, outside to the world, it never loads anything. Doesn't properly load the museum, doesn't properly load the inside of the college. So yeah, I get boned very quickly. And chest is empty. Okay, fine. I wonder if there's any, any guards nearby to drink. Anyway, let's go talk to Maven Blackbriar first. I trust you have good news for me? Yep. Job's finished. Here's the information you requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Yep. I have seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. Hmm. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. Yes, ma'am. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Thank you. Bending. I think that's uh, armor reduction. Yep. Out of my way. Yes, yes. Well, the boots aren't here yet. Hopefully, on the next country. You're aware of that. Oh, thank you. What's the time? 6 p.m. Rare trinkets. Hey. What is it? I found a book that might help your search for your destiny. Let me see that. Yes, yes. This is it. I don't know how you found this stranger. But you've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Mm hmm Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. Sure. What do you got for sale? Take a look. Uh ooh, I'm gonna follow and with you. They look very similar. I don't want to buy two of them, just one. I do like the soul gems, though. Okay. I'm not going to say no to the next leather roll painting either. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else do I have to sell? Uh. I've dropped most of my stuff here already. Um, hmm. I have gemstones. Yeah, I have gemstones to sell. That should work. Thank you. I'll be right here then. You said something about your, um, 
Stash. Uh, water breathing light fees. Rubies and sapphire spelt on luminous crescent. You gonna buy something or just here for training? Uh, just what you see here. Okay, let's sell you some stuff. Not that. The elixir and filter and then the uh, spell zone. Thank you. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use it. Well aware. Alright. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Where else? Arcane stool bag, James Bottom's pack. That's for another day. Dinya Blue return to Alessandra. Eh, let's talk to Dinya first. And then to Alessandra. Oh, Erendur is not wearing it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Don't like those eyes you've got. There's a bad hunger to them. What do you mean? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Well, I helped the forlorn lovers of Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. That's just Erendur's hat. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. Mm. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. I see. The dawn short opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Yes. So the amulet of Mara takes me to some place. And that place is all the way over here. At Gukar's monument near Rorikstad. I shall mess with that some other time. Yes? I will need to keep an image of Mari in my inventory, though. Night is falling. For once, I'm inclined to sleep through it. Hmm. Gotta go talk to Delvin and Vex and then hand in my mission. Hey, Etienne. Let's have a look. No word yet. Rune, I've used every source at my disposal. Still can't find trace of your parents. Whoever they are completely erased themselves from history. Quite a few considering the quality of my sources. Interesting. Hi. Come here a second. Sure. How did you end up with the guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. Hmm. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Hmm. So why'd you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. So you come to the other side of the continent to be a thief? I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. Hmm. So how'd you end up here? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. Hmm. Must have been hard. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. Hmm. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Interesting. Thank you. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. I'm better than you with the bow. Bruno, some kind of rival thieves guild in Windhelm. Uh, I think you'll find I can open quite a few doors for the guild once you've re-established yourself up here. Friends are difficult to come by these days. Could you send someone up here to investigate? Interesting. Note from Mercer. This golden little estate situation is getting out of hand. Find someone capable of taking care of it. 
Yeah, already did that. Hmm. Shadow marks. Delvin Mallory. Clever little marks carved all over Skyrim. The Guild. Safe. Danger. Escape route. Protected. Fence. So don't mess with these people. Fence is obvious. Thieves cash. Hmm. Loot. A lot of money. Not a, not a lot of money. I'm guessing House Greyman has one of those. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Bryn. I don't want to talk to Bryn just yet. I want to talk to the other guys first. I know where the next mission is going to take me. Solitude. So I'm going to cycle the missions so that I get a mission for Solitude. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Sure, Delvin. I am going to emit some lights, though. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Hi. Pull up a seat. Have a drink. Interested in buying this hunting brew decanter? I already made a copy for my museum. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. Mm -hmm. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Thank you. Well, I've completed the fishing job. Good job. Now, here's your part of the deal. Hmm. I heard you're... Oh, not gonna... Not yet. There's plenty more work for the likes of you. I'm First off, I'm not gonna level up yet, because I want some training in Conjuration before I do that. Looking for work? I heard you're offering extra work. I want a job in... Solitude. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Tell me about the bedlam jobs. Sometimes we just like to remind the city that we mean business, so we hit them hard. Just steal whatever we can until we made an impression. Simple, right? Almost. The catch is, it doesn't count if anyone sees you take it. The message needs to be clear. We work in the shadows. Steal from anywhere in the hold, and you even get to keep everything you stole. So, you in? Um, sure. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut and you'll do fine. Let me give you the details. White run. Nope, that's not what I want. Riften. <laughs> also not what I want. But I can cycle pretty easily. You know how this is going to go. Solitude. Thank you, Mr. Mallory. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Sure, sure. One moment. One moment, Vex. Out with it. Time is money. Well, you done or what? Yep. Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all in one place. I'm going to spend it in my bed to get a perk point. Anyway, I'm ready for some more work. Got plenty. Take your pick. Uh... Talk to me about sweep jobs. One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that could use a little... house cleaning. Alright. What do you say? Sure. Good. Here's what you need to do. Riften. No. Solitude. Bow on a stick. Get them while they're hot. Bow on a stick, everybody. <laughs> uh, Mark Arth. No. Damn thing, but no. Mark Arth. Where are the Minotaurs? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Death one. White run. Close. 
Nalakas has absolutely no imagination. His data realm is a giant spying for crying out loud. More Markarth. I'm gonna have to cycle this a few times. If it takes too long, I'm gonna... I will not be your scratching post. Igneo the brave. Solitude. Yay. Good. So, your Brynjolf's the protege, eh? You'll see. You'll see. I already completed two good jobs. Time for the final mission of Act 1. Scoundrel's Folly. This is the training room. Advances in lockpicking. I don't need that, but you know. Gather it up. All these chests can be uh, lockpicked for skill. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yet very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Yeah. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Yeah, the same symbol from Golden Glow was on the notes to Sabjorn. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Yeah. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Well, at least Maven knows about it, and she made it pretty clear she does not like being played. Is there anything we can do on our end? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Damn. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Scoundrel's Folly. Hi. Ah, there you are. Yeah. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Well, I found the same thing at Hunting Brometery. In Sabjorn's notes. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Yeah. So, yeah, very clever, yeah, but they have to go. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well-funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. True. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Sure. So, what are we going to do? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. Have they? The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. Interesting. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. So he betrayed us. Where can I find this Gollum I? Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. Really? I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Hmm. Get out there. Shake him down. See what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Sure. I'm gonna do that. Have need of Sinric. Mercer, consider a personal favor. Utilize Sinric's unique skills, lockpicking. Delicate situation in Sydney Mine. Close friend of an incarcerated in a horrible place. Like him free as soon as possible. Recommend Sinric avoid the Forsworn element. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that that mm, too late. A werewolf ate them all. Prevalent within the mine, stick to as simple an escape plan as possible. True. East Empire connection. Press our contact of the East Empire Company for information, but that lizard is as stubborn as he is careless. That's because it's cool my. He claims the company has nothing to offer. Bullshit. But I think he's hiding something. Yeah. I suggest you refrain from having him visited by the Brotherhood for now. He may yet be of some use to us. Yep. Time to bump up our information first. That's something the Brotherhood does not do. Where is Brynjolf? He's right here. Hey. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum. But he's no mastermind. Think he'll give me any trouble? Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So, how do we get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. 
It's the only way to get his attention. Hmm. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Golamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Hmm. Uh, betrayal or not, I'm probably gonna let him live. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. He's Just not the brains. Just keep on Golamai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Got it. Fun fact, Golomai's tail, yeah, he's, he's literally a lizard man, so... How is Golomai an asset to the guild? Golomai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. Huh. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. I see. You think Golomai will give me any trouble? There are thieves, and then there is Golomai. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Hmm. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Got it. Um, if I get information from Golomai, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. Got it. If you discover Gullamai is holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. I'll see what I can find out. But uh, what do you know about the East Empire Company? A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Don't piss off the East Empire Company. Got it. Thank you. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive, but remind him who we are. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the barracks, maybe drink a few people. And then next episode, we're going to go to Morthal. It is dark. Any thieves around? Not today, okay. Hmm. All right. Let's reload. And then we're going to go to the nearest Waygate, which is probably going to be through Castle Volkahar, and then on to Riften, to Morthal. Yeah. Ooh, actually. I'd like to set a location. Oh, darn. Set location. Location number three, right here. Yeah. And fast travel here. To my safe house, and from there to Castle Bulgar. This is, however, where I'm going to end the episode. So, thanks for watching. See you at uh, the Castle Volgar Waygate.